Hey everybody, Marion, the inappropriate artist here. I'm about to be changing that introduction, by the way, because my channel name's going to change. I don't know why I'm doing this, <clears throat> except I'm a picture framer at heart, and maybe I just felt the need to frame my face. Um, so I am an artist who, I'm landscape paper. Oh my God. Do you know how many times I've tried to take this? And so I'm not starting over. I am a landscape painter who is neurodivergent and has become hyper-focused on painting all 50 states. And yeah, so I'm not stopping. Um, I have 29 down, 21 to go. And this video is about me moving back into my van. I know. So, without further ado, here it is. You want to come up? No? Okay. She just uses me. That's all right. Um, <laughs> so, I'm, today I'm, is, move, is uh, a big sorting day for me. So, I am sorting i've already kind of like so in the suitcase is all my sheet music plus other stuff so it's like i had it packed before when it was in the van um there's like a dish i have additional packing material for when i have to ship paintings stuff like that in there plus uh, a screen for the door for the van if i need it and um i think that's it like and some and cases for like my my easels and stuff like that all my portable cases and stuff go in there and then my sweaters on top just because that's where i have it for the moment then we have uh so two of the bins um one of them is mostly equipment um, with a couple pieces of clothing in it that i have question about but i'm going to talk to my friend who's coming she may want them um, and then above it is all of my, like, winter storage stuff. So my winter coat will eventually go in there as well. I need to redo those vacuum bags and suck out all the air and get it more collapsed inside so that I can fit my winter coat in there when the time comes. Uh, not time for that yet. These two bins are empty because these are the two bins that wear the, that, that contain the clothes that I wear on a regular basis. So when I am in the van... That's my closet. Everything in these drawers, I have to pack up into those bins. It's not too much. I mean, it's all the same stuff. I didn't acquire anything new. And, at, well, that's not true. I got two, three new pieces, the sweater included, um, a lightweight pair of overalls, and a pair of pants, right? Those are the three pieces that I acquired while I was here. And I also got rid of three pieces. <clears throat> so, there's exactly the same amount of stuff. Um, I've been really good about not acquiring things while I'm here. I'm so proud of myself for that. Um, but over here is like, this is all art supplies and studio stuff on the desk here. And that's going to go to my friend's space, except for some of it. I mean, some of it's portable art supplies. And so certain things I'll always keep with me in the van and just bring them back and forth because I can't afford doubles of things. Plus, eventually... All that's going to get moved into the van somehow, or if I get, get my hands on a box truck, then it'll help me with building out my studio, because I have this awesome drafting table that I think once I move into the box truck that I get, um, it's going to, um, I might be able to take it off its legs and use it as a table that comes down like this and goes back up, or somehow like Maybe it collapses into the wall like this on a hinge so I can pull it out, support it, use it as an easel and change the angle of it depending on what I need. Oh, that's brilliant. Already I'm having good ideas telling you. I've also got my portable uh, box there. I used to call it a pochette box, but I've stopped calling it that because real pochette boxes have way more to offer than that. So this is really just an art box. Um, and then next to it is the other art box that I always has kept my supplies in it. Well, I was in, whoa, while I was in the van, 
That was a nugget attack. <laughs> um, she thinks I'm playing with her because I'm wiggling my fingers around. Um, and I'm still not sure what I'm going to do about all my finished work. I mean, for the, for the time being, I can put it at my friend's place, but eventually I'm going to have to put all that stuff back in the... In the vehicle, um, which is why I am manifesting this box truck, because what I got ain't going to cut it. So, I'm going to stop mentioning that. My new box truck is coming, and I'm going to be able to fit everything I need in there. I'm going to have my separate studio. I'm going to have, and it's going to feel so freaking good. I can feel it now. Right? <sighs> I've just walked inside, and oh, look how beautiful my new home is. And I have this gorgeous art space. And a separate bedroom and my separate kitchen and wow I can totally function and keep myself healthy in this space and it feels so freaking good Whew. yeah see this is this is how I am approaching my transitions these days just got a message and -da -da. Today's the day. She arrives. She was in Socorro last night. And so she's arriving here in about an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so. And so she asked me if I would start pulling things out. So I am going to, going to play a little switcheroo with my neighbor when she's ready. Because she's on an appointment. And so when she's finished with that, um, we'll be able to get moving. But I think... We are going to be able to get this started. So let's see. I got going to open up the back here and grab the tarp because that's always a number one, right? And I also now need to remember that people are going to give me weird looks because I'm talking to my camera. <laughs> so. I have a lot in here I can get rid of. I'm certain of it because there's so much in here that I haven't used. Um, some of it's stuff that I haven't used just because I've not been in the van. And getting back in the van means I'm going to use it again. But some of it's stuff that, like, I haven't missed. So maybe I won't need. Right? Um, we'll see. Wait, I'm just going to put this here. I don't really want to leave my back doors open until I move the van. Let's see. Um, but this is an easy one because I can sling it. My moonshade. And grab. This random backpack full of stuff that I'm never sure what's in it. And. For now. That's it. Okay, for now that's it. I'm until I can move the van. So hopefully in the next little bit I can do that before she comes. And yeah. Oh. Oh. So at least we can get this prepped. It helps to sing the Superman theme when I'm doing hard stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got here. I think I can leave this the way open. Ugh. Tough. Get that set up. Right. This is going to be the staging area. So, here, let me show you. This is the yard. So that's my front door right now. Um, and that's Tally. Say hello, Tally. I know he's the cutest. Okay. So that's the tarp and I'm going to lay it out here and this is going to be the spot where we put everything and stage the rest of what's going in the van. So now I'm going to go move the van and get it backed in so I can start unloading. All right. Da -da -da. Okay, 
let's get this baby started. Woohoo! All right, one try. I love it when that happens. And then let me tell you, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> so, this is actually ideal setup for doing this because I can back into the spot and these are my side doors, right? My barn doors, the back doors, and there's the gate. Ha ha. So I want to give you a view of what the van looks like for the before. This is my garage and, and uh, under the bed storage, right? So this is where I'm starting at. This was, somebody put this in for me uh, when I was in Quartzsite. That was Joanne's old storage and we turned it horizontal and made cubes for me to put stuff in, which really did make a difference and I can't wait to use it more efficiently. Um, so you see what we got going on here? It's a lot of stuff because I haven't been paying attention to it since I've been living in the apartment for a little while since May of last year. And this is my side entry and it's pretty messed up back here. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not great either. Um, I had taken the bins out from under the bed. So here's a glimpse under the bed of what it looks like now. Just, you know, a jumble of shit right now. But going to be working on that, pulling everything out. So all this has got to come out. <laughs> oh, crap. I forgot. I, just, I forgot to press start. So that's the interior of the van. Um, right now I am just about to get start emptying this out. I'm going to go put this back in its shady spot. Yeah, so we did a serious, I feel like, miraculous job today. Um, every, all the energy came and helped us. Like, I had so much amazing support from the Nomad community as soon as I said that I needed to get out and move into the van. Like, I, I literally had just said that as like, uh, thought, you know, and then, you know, I, well, a thought, it was a prayer. It was an outgoing of energy that I asked, you know, my source for assistance with and my guides for assistance with. And I got it like immediately it was so phenomenal. My friend Joanne just messaged me and asked me if I had the coordinates for my favorite spot. And I said, yeah. And she's like, well, Lace is coming to town. And I was like, what? So, yes. Uh, and it's been fantastic. She's exactly what I needed um, to really turn this into a joyful experience. We really succeeded in making it joyful. I'm so grateful for her presence and the addition she brought to this, she made it go so much faster. So today, Lace did all the cleaning. I mean, she was phenomenal. But as she was cleaning, I was packing the van. So everything except my art stuff is in the van. There is, I still have some financial stuff to sort and put away and then that's done and then I have like um my table here right like that stuff and then uh the refrigerator but um yeah no lace was a queen she totally fucking rocked it and um I owe her my sanity and uh, my joy in the experience because she made this 
doable and um, I'm grateful for it. Yeah. So Laced Venom is her YouTube. And so go check her out. And um, yeah, let me, I mean, there's stuff on the bed, but that's my stuff, whatever. I'm, you know, I'm still like, I'm really sore. I'm dying. We're going to soak tomorrow. Thank goodness. Oh, hang on. Let me show you what we did, what she did. So the bed was always the staging area for stuff that needed to go into the van. So every time I had stuff ready to go, we put it on the bed and then I would start loading up things and bringing it into the van. Just made it much simpler, right? So, and then, but she did all the cleaning. I have to take that down, fan. Um, we did run into one issue, but um, I'm going to take care of that. Then... Bum, ba, da, bum. So grateful to Lace. She really, really made a difference for me. I could never have gotten this all done in the amount of time that we got this accomplished in. I mean, one afternoon. So she got here at like noon one day and uh, we started work at 1.30 the next day. And we worked until sundown both days. So that's, I think, a pretty darn good you know time amount to get all this done so it was the cabinets and the counters she reorganized everything uh separated everything so that i could just pack my stuff and leave behind what was here uh and that was so helpful it the sorting process can be tough for me so i'm grateful for her assistance also a good thing I'd cleaned the bathroom before I left on my trip to Texas. And yes, there will be a video on that too, guys. I promise, 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 but this had to come first. And then of course, Nugget has to make an appearance. So we will close out this video with a little bit from me and the Nugget. Well, good morning. It is next day. I am incapacitated at the moment. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us today. Please check out the links below in the description for my Patreon and my Instagram. And a big shout out to my existing patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell. That's right, hit it, just like she's making those muffins. If you want to be notified every time you put every time we put out a video or I cuz she really doesn't do much of anything but that and uh yeah so we are going to be back in the van and having some adventures and you will be seeing me life on the road once again I'll be keeping you up to date See you next time everyone take care